Hey guys, just look at this, completely ready to run, including 3S LiPo batteries, the charger and the brushless setup. Stay tuned. So guys, in today's video we've got an awesome 110 scale buggy to look at and this car is made by ZT Racing and this car is so professional. You know what? I'm not going to talk anymore about this car. I'm going to get everything out of the box so I can show you what's inside there. Inside the box you will find the car, a 4 channel transmitter, we've got 2 times a 3 s LiPo battery, we've got some instructions, a small bits and pieces and it even comes with a charger. So I paid only 220 bucks for this complete kit, so until now this looks pretty promising. So let's have a closer look at the transmitter now. This is the transmitter and it's made by Dumbo RC and these transmitters are actually pretty good. So it runs on 4 AA's which you need to supply of your own. It's capable of one hand driving, it's very sturdy and this one has got 4 channels but we use only 2 for this car. So you've got channel number 1 and 2, this is channel number 3 and we've got a 3 position switch right over there. This is your on off switch and underneath this lid you will find your steering trim, your dual rate etc. But overall these transmitters are very sturdy and they have an excellent range. So let's have a close look at the car now. And here is the car guys, what do you think of it? Well, appearance wise, I really like this car, this really looks like a beast and this thing feels very very sturdy and very heavy. Just look at those tires guys, so these are pretty chunky tires, we've got some foams inside there and just look at the sharks and the shark towers. So we've got a lot of metal parts and aluminium parts inside there and these sharks are oil filled, fully adjustable, we've got aluminium shark towers and when we turn the car around you've got an aluminium bottom plate or chassis, I really like this appearance so far so look at the rear we've got very chunky shocks as well even we got a sway bar in the front and in the rear of this car i really like it so far so let's have a closer look at all the details in the front of the car you'll find the plastic front bumper with some LEDs mounted inside there. You'll find some LEDs right over there and we've got some LEDs sitting right over there. So the lighting system is a thumbs up for me. So as I mentioned the shocks are fully adjustable, oil filled and the reservoir is just a fake one. But I really like the appearance of it so I don't care. So we've got a sway bar in the front and in the rear. We've got adjustable camber and tow. We've got ball bearings throughout, metal gears, metal drive shafts, metal uh, differentials, metal cups you know. This thing is really built tough. And just look at the drivers guys we've got two drivers sitting inside there we've got some exhausting thing going on we've got some mirrors we've got fire extinguishers and just look at all the meshing that they have added to this body style so appearance wise so far i really like this car so when we turn the car around you will find a proper spare tire but you can also buy this one with a uh, wear ring uh but yeah and you've got two different body types so I'll put the link down below so you can check those out for yourself but just look at those sharks guys these sharks are just amazing in my opinion and the shark towers inside here, they are very very thick and also made of aluminium. So let's have a look at underneath the body. When you remove just two body clips right over there, you can just lift the body up like this and underneath here you will find all the magic. Just look at this setup guys, I really like this so far. So this is your brushless motor and this is a 3660 motor and this one is 2300 kV. Here you will find your 80 amp ESC, here's your receiver and underneath the receiver you will find your servo. So this is an all metal geared 9 kilogram servo and on the other side you'll find the servo saver sitting right over there. And just look at this drive shaft guys, this looks very chunky and very thick so this setup already i really like that so right over there you'll find your adjustable slipper clutch as i mentioned we've got ball bearings throughout we've got metal gears throughout so yeah this car really looks tough so let me turn some batteries and show you when it's on 
The car is powered on, and do you hear that noise, guys? Well, that's the fan on top of the ESC. It makes a lot of noise, but, you know, I think that we need the cooling because this will rip on 3S for sure. So, steering-wise, this is the steering servo. We've got plenty of speed, but, yeah, it's lacking a bit of power, as you can see. So, that's a bit of a downside, but it is what it is. And just look at the light system, guys. As I mentioned, we've got lights in the front bumper. We've got lights right over there, and we've got some tail lights. So, I really like that. So, power-wise, this is full throttle. Whoa, that's really fast. So yeah, there's only one thing left to do now. Let's take it outside for a spin. So guys, we're at the tarmac road and the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to speed run it. So let's see how fast this car is. So here we go. So guys, the top speed of this car is 42 kilometers an hour. So that's a pretty decent speed, but I think they advertised it with a little bit more than that. But still, you know, it's a pretty fast car. So now it's time to take it off road. So guys, I've been driving this car around for a couple of minutes now and there's one thing what really annoys me until now and that's the steering servo and the servo saver. So sometimes when you try to steer, it doesn't steer at all and yeah, because of the servo isn't very powerful and especially when the grass is a little bit higher, it doesn't want to steer sometimes. So that's a bit of a problem, but it's got plenty of power, it jumps nice. You've got a lot of traction as you can see, oh, into the into the grass oh, yep recovered it here it comes again yeah this thing is a real beast man here we go yeah you see I tried to steer but it really doesn't want to steer sometimes but it is what it is but so far I really like this car just look at it go man here on the gravel oh yeah and recovered it oh whoa to the high grass yes here it comes again Brakes, brakes, yeah, this thing is a real blast, man. Look at it go, hoppa. <laughs> I really like it so far. So guys, that was the driving with the ZT Racing, the DBX10. And what do I think of this car? Well, appearance-wise, I really like it. Just look at it, man. All the small details which they have added to create a very tough-looking car, you know. I really like it. So the big shocks, the big tires, you know, the overall appearance, the lighting system. So that's a thumbs up. So performance-wise, well, it's also a pretty good car, in my opinion. So the motor and the ESC were, were fine, you know. They didn't heat up pretty quickly or something like that. So that's all fine. There's only one big problem and that's the steering servo and the servo saver right over there so when I drove to the grass or on the gravel I didn't have to feel that I was in control all of the time and I think that the servo saver is slipping a little bit if you're trying to do some tight corners in the grass so yeah that's a big a big downside in my opinion but overall the performance you know this car is pretty decent it's got a good speed you know it's pretty tough so I crashed it like a couple of times and it's still in one piece well I think if you're going to hit a curve or something that something will break you know 
know, especially with these lo small linkages right over there. But if you don't do that, you know, I think that this car will last a uh, yeah, pretty long time. But overall, this car, I paid 220 bucks for this uh, car, including the transmitter, two LiPo batteries and the charger. So for the money, I think that this is a pretty good deal. All right, guys, that was it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. If you got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.